Uh, I was actually uh, holding the microphone at the ASU campus clash, mm. and uh, one of the girls asked about the children being detained. Yes. I think the question she wanted to ask was, how can Turning Point be against big government, but not push for evaluating uh, the children uh, that are saying that they're being sexually exploited and raped? Sure. So what is your perspective on that? Thank, thank you for the question. So anyone that commits any sort of crime, whether they be an ICE officer or a private citizen, should be held to the highest and most brutal interpretation of our standards. But I mean my brutal is that I have no leniency in my own interpretation of someone that sexually assaults a minor, whether it be an ICE agent, a Border Patrol agent, or an individual. I, don't, I, I find it – I have not found anyone that finds that to be excusable behavior. However, just recently, there was a huge discovery by ICE that there's a rent-a-child policy now for, for $150. You can now rent a child to cross the border. And so the idea behind the family separations was this. There are people that are crossing the southern border with people that are not their children. That's a hard thing to talk about. It's not popular. It's really hard to articulate on cable news. But it's happening where there are people that are crossing the southern border where they're either smuggling children or they're renting children. Boy, are those horrific things, aren't they? Those are evil things, too. And so the thought process was, and it's not a perf- it's not by no means perfect, because we have a calamity and we have a crisis on our border. So it's, how can we limit and minimize the amount of children that are first and foremost being sex trafficked into our country? So what they did is they said, let's separate the people that are coming across the border. And what do they do? They say, what are your parents' names? And then they go to the parents and say, what are your children's names? And as soon as those don't add up, you got a problem, right? Then they can do DNA, DNA sampling. They can do five questions. You can find for any logical and rational questioner, you can find that this child's being sex trafficked or not. Now, the idea that there were children in cages is just not true. There are not children in cages at the southern border. That was happening in previous administrations. Obama administration. It was. The ICE facilities at the southern border are actually above average. They're quite luxurious. If you actually go and visit an ICE facility, they have ping pong tables, video games, cable television, Wi-Fi, and air conditioning. Now, The evil people that abuse children should be put in prison and throw away the key. They should never see the light of day. And I think, unfortunately, the conversations with demagogue that somehow I'm apologizing for those people. Of course not. I would never apologize for the abuse or for the targeting of children in any capacity whatsoever. But I will not apologize for a policy that is designed to stop child sex trafficking. Because I can't think of any more institutionalized evil practice in our country to bring a nine-year-old girl for the sole purpose to sell that girl into basically modern-day sex slavery.